everybody, it's Simon at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make a joy fold card. So it's basically this and this. So this piece folds in and that piece folds over the top. Now I saw this on a channel called For the Joy of Paper. It was eight years old, so it's a pretty old tutorial. But basically she just said that it's called a joy fold because you have this piece in here that folds over this piece here. Now she doesn't have hers as a Z fold, which I've done. She just has it like that. So if you just imagine that's one piece and then that piece goes like so and like so. So it's entirely up to you how you want to put this together. But I want to show you both versions because I think that does look really nice as well. Now, if you want to make my way, then it's a piece of 12 by six. So obviously you would be cutting into 12 by 12 cardstock. Otherwise, if you want to do the, the shorter way, then it's a piece of nine by 12. 9 by 6 so yeah because you're just doing from there so that's the 9 inches and that's the 6 but I'll talk you all through that in a minute but I just thought it was a really nice fun fold it all folds flat into a 6 by 6 envelope this is using the beautiful Dovecraft Sweet Moments papers and decoupage which I've done on the top there so you can see it's all erased really really fun really cute card and I've put some Nouveau drops on there as well so let's get into the video Okay, so this is the collection, which you've seen me use a few times now. There is a stamp set as well, which I've used inside. I just used the happy birthday there. They're the stickers, which I still haven't, I've used a couple, but I haven't used as many as I thought. This is the eight by eight paper pack. Really, really nice. Lots of um, cupcakes and just sweet treats and flowers and gingham and just all that kind of stuff. So I'm not, I've used most of the pattern papers now. There's some cupcakes left there and another, there's the roses, that's what I'm using today. So that's that one. And then the decoupage, Dovecraft do a, a really lovely decoupage range. I've used these for a long time and um, I've got the Sweet Moments, I've got Beach Life, I've got the Christmas ones. I've had ones before that as well. Um, and they're just really nice, perfect toppers. And um, you've seen me make gift tags with these as well, which I will link in up here because um, again, there's so many different things that you can actually use with the decoupage kits. But I've gone ahead and already done my topper. So this is my one that I'm going to be doing for today's card. You can see there how lovely that one is. This is the matching, no it's not the matching bows actually. These bows are from the Sprayed Flowers by Dewcrafts. But I thought it matched really, really well. So I've used that one. Okay, so for your card base, first of all, if you want to make the Z fold version like I have, then you need a piece of 12 by 6. If you just want this, the, the shorter version because you don't have 12 by 12 card, then you need a piece of 9 by 6. Okay, no matter what size you've got at the moment, along the long side, you want, that f you want it in this orientation. So if you've got the 9, yours will be up to here, and then this is the 12 inch. Okay, if you've got the 9, you just want to score at 6 inches. And that's it, okay? If you've got what I've got here, nine, um, 6 by 12, then you want to score at 6, flip it over and score at 9. We flip it over because you're going to be folding in opposite directions. So now I can fold, do my normal card fold. So if you've got either size, you'll just do that normal fold and you will just now have this 3 inch piece here. Okay. Now, anybody that's doing my one, you'll fold that back on itself. And by flipping that score line, you won't get any cracking. And now you've just got a normal Z fold card. Okay, so that's how you do that. I'm just going to burnish those lines a bit more, like so. And then for the other piece, that will then go in slightly smaller card. Okay, so this will be the same size no matter what you what card size you had before. This is a piece of nine and a half by four and a quarter. And along the nine and a half inch side, you want to score at four and three quarters. And then just fold and burnish that one there. And this is just a mini, a mini little card size. Obviously, you can shrink this card down to whatever size you want. But basically now that will sit inside here in the middle. And then that will go over the top like so. Just bring that up. You can see there. Okay. It kind of looks like a bit like a gatefold card at the minute. Or a Z fold card. Okay, so that's that. Then for all the mats and layers. So for your topper, so this is going to go on the top of this card that's stuck inside. This is the front of your card. So you can see there, mine's going to sit perfectly on that one. So you need two pieces because this piece is then going to go inside where you'll stamp and write your message. So the white, you want two pieces of four and a half by four. Okay. 
Then I've just put another layer on top here, this gingham, green gingham here. If you want to do that, it depends on what your topper is, but that is a piece of three and three quarters by four and a quarter. Okay, so that's all the measurements for that. And then for all your mats and layers, so this is the big mat to go on the very back inside there. That white piece is five and three quarters squared. Then the pattern piece on top is five and a half squared. Okay, so one piece, and then you want two pieces of these which are going to go here and here. But it depends, you may want to keep it plain, like I showed you on this one here. If you're just doing one half, or even a Z-fold, you want to keep it plain, that does look nice like so. So it's entirely up to you when you come to your mats and layers, just play around and see what you want to do. But these are two and three quarters by five and three quarters for the white. And then the pattern on top again is two and a half by five and a half it should be. Yep, yeah. two pieces. Okay, so that's everything there. That's all the scoring does. Let's just pull that away. Okay. And then it's just a matter of sticking everything down. So first of all, you want to stick your large mats and layers onto the back. This isn't directional paper because they're all just facing odd ways. So I'm going to stick that one down there first, like so. And then these ones here now, so you want to make sure you've got your, your fold in that um, position. This one's going to go like so, and then this one is going to go in here. So they're both inside. You might want to do the other sides as well. It's, in, again, entirely up to you. So again, I'm just going to get those stuck down. Okay, so they're all stuck down, so now you can see what you've got there. It's actually a really strong card as well, because if you think about it, you've got three layers on all of your sides there. So if you are, again, using maybe a weaker card stock to start with, this would still work well because you'll be obviously adding strength to it with all of those mats and layers. So now you want to add in this next card. So this is going to stick, this back piece here is what you want to stick into the center of this card here. So I'm going to stick that down first of all. Okay, so just make sure you get that all nice and even and lined up. You want to have equal sides on the top, bottom and the left and the right there like so and then it will open up remember it's got to open up the opposite way <laughs> like so okay so now that will be like that and when it folds over this one again it should have a nice equal border that it does on that one and you know you've got it all lined up then you just want to stick down your inside so I haven't stamped mine yet because this one just says tea time on it the other one did have birthday I believe um, this one would work for, you know, just maybe just a nice little letter card, you know, just to put a little message in or a little thank you card. So I'm going to leave the inside free now until I decide, you know, what I end up using it for. Again, just sit that inside and you'll have a nice equal border. And then I'm going to fold it all in and then with my topper, that's already finished. So again, just stick that down, making sure you've got a nice even border. And there you have it, a really, really pretty card. I love this fold. And it's, it, I mean, it's a very simple fold. It's a very common fold. It's just adding that other card in the opposite direction. For some reason, it becomes a joy fold card. So there you have it. So if I just bring that up now, so you can see. But again, if you've just got that one piece, then yours will look like that. And again, obviously, if you've got the paper on it or not, it's up to you. But I think they look really nice. They can go and it stands up nice as well. There you go. So, you, can, you know, the side profile looks really good there as well. So, yeah, there you have it. So I'll bring in the other one. This one's still a little bit wet because I've put the Nouveau drops on it. Um, oh, with love. So, no, that could have been for, you know, any kind of card, actually. But I did put the happy birthday in that one. Um, but there you have it. Two very pretty, pretty quick cards. So I hope you've enjoyed today's card making tutorial. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.